Hi, this is Tommy from Carrera Casting. Today we're going to be covering printer prep. Welcome to our new upgraded solidscape room. As you can see, we've made lots of changes in here. For instance, we have a new AC central only to this room with a humidifier in here. As always, we have two thermometers going that check the humidity and the temperature at all times. That is very important if you're going to run a lot of solid shape machines with a lot of vacuums going all the time. And the most important part, we have upgraded to all 3Z Pros, best machines on the market bar none. Also what we did is we gave each one of our machines a new stand with its own high grade vacuum on the bottom. And as you can see back here, we have a little cart so it's handy and we don't have to run back and forth and we can pay attention to each machine as it is needed. The other thing you have to keep in mind is these machines take some power and what we did in our upgrade, we've given each machine its own plug, one for the machine and one for its vacuum. That way when the machine is drawing power like this one is when it's cutting, it is not drawing on the power of the machine next to it. It is very important that you keep your room very clean. If it's not clean, all the particulates are going to fall right onto your parts when you open the, the lid. And while it's building, it's going to clog up with all the dust. The basics are still what counts. For instance, there's your brush, always cleaning your cutter. You have to open up. You take out your plate so you don't damage the plate. You have to watch when handling the cutter. It is exceptionally sharp. You can tap your finger on it. You won't bleed until a minute later. But that's the way you want it. Everybody thinks because this is wax that you, need, you can have any kind of knife. No, it has to be super sharp. The softer the material, the sharper the knife has to be. Also, the room has to be cooled down enough so when the time comes that the material is cooling after it's come out of the jets, that it gets hard enough so the cutter comes by and cuts a nice hard material giving you a nice flat layer. When you clean, best way to do it was to flick off whatever particulates are on the blade and they're going to go inside these tracks and then just flick into the track onto the base here and then you clean that also until this is spotless. You could literally see the reflection of the lights off of these blades. If you can't do that, if there's any haze or fuzziness, it is not clean. It's going to gum up. It's going to create little pebbles on there that's going to tear into your piece. And that is not the machine's fault. That is the fault of not cleaning it well enough. Okay, so once that's done, you make sure that the inside here is clean because that's also, that it's nice and clipped on tight, that the hole here is clean, that the tracks inside have been cleaned. You have to make sure this is also clean. The jet nozzle goes through these rubber membranes right here to keep it clean so when the caps are on, they don't stick. So this has to be cleaned as well every single time you do a job. And make sure that you can turn the caps. If they're too tight, they will not come out when they go to pull out automatically in order to do a purge. So you have to make sure you spin them and if you feel it's too tight or too loose, just change them. Again. Just remember the basics, clean your machine, keep that vacuum nice and healthy with a new bag, and above all, change your filters and keep your caps. Once a month, you should change the caps. There's a lot of heat and these caps are plastic, so they will loosen up and you will go through a whole day of maintenance only to find out it was just a loose cap leaking some air. So check your caps, change your filters. You have to change the filter. If the material is not clean going into the, into the jets, okay, you can't expect this machine to build correctly. If you do these minor things, clean, check your filters, check your caps, and check your vacuum, that's 90% of the battle right there, and you'll be very, very happy with the SolidScape machines. Hope you enjoyed this segment, and stay with us. There are more best practice videos in CAD and 3D printing for jewelry manufacturing to come.